Hi, now I will explain you step by step uh, how to prepare and upload online teaching classes in Medvis software. See, what are the things that we require uh, before we uh, prepare the class? You should have your uh, username and password that you have received in your mail from Medbitch. If you have registered, if you are not registered, you contact our system engineer Santosh so that he will uh, register and you will get the username and password to your mail. So once you get the username and password, we will uh, admin will uh, open the classroom for you. So what are the requirements to prepare the classes is one thing is you should have your PowerPoint. So this PowerPoint presentation should be converted into a PDF. You are not supposed to upload the video recording of the classes which have been shot earlier because the space will be huge and it will take hours to get upload. Uh, first step I am explaining how to convert PowerPoint presentation to PDF. So already I have one PowerPoint presentation on my desktop. That is first I'll consider this the PowerPoint presentation demo. So what you have to do is go to the Google search and here you type convert online PPT to PDF convert online ppt to pdf enter so you will get so many things like this i would like suggest to select the a small pdf the first one so here choose the file so you go to your web uh, folder on the desktop or where you have saved your PowerPoint presentation. So here I have this demo. I'll select it, then open. So it's uploading. You wait for time. And now it is converting online. Your PPT is converting to a PDF. see now you will get a download option here just download it see it is saving here so it will be in download so what I am doing is now I am opening the see now you can see this is the PowerPoint presentation converted to PDF now I am saving this save as okay demo converter whatever the title if you want to give you can give save you save wherever you want but you should be knowing where you have saved i am saving it in a folder by name online on the desktop okay now you are ready with a powerpoint presentation converted to pdf now you go to the login enter your login credentials then just click on the login button yes this is the a screen that you will see once you enter the Medwitch website. Website, sorry. See here, it will be like this. So for me, it is a preventive and social medicine. For an anatomy faculty, it will be like anatomy. For other faculty, the respective faculty department will be displayed. Now, what you have to do here is you click on that subject wait for some time so you will see a screen like this a blank a video clip will be there left side you have your subject under the topic just click on the topic then you simply go to enter to the classroom which is on the right side here you can see enter to classroom now i am clicking it we are entering to the classroom so once you click the enter to the classroom you will get a screen like this now what i am doing is on the right side 
here only you can see the medvis logo just click on that see now you will get a screen like this here in this screen you can see the upper one that i am showing with the cursor this is meant for importing the pdf that is the powerpoint presentation which is converted into pdf now i am now i am clicking on it then see you will get a box like this already have stored so many presentation on medwich now after this what you have to do is you click add file now it will direct to your desktop here you have to search the pdf that you have saved here again it is in the my online pdf online new folder which is on the desktop this is the one pdf that i have converted by name demo converted i'll select it i'll open it wait for some seconds then you will get a display like this visibility visibility means whatever the presentation you are uploading who has to see for you just you click here choose visibility just select public public means student can see you can see and admin can also see now once you select the public you click on the add file so once you do that here your the copy or the uploaded pdf will be displayed see here you can see by name demo converted now click on that icon now you load the file you will get a screen like this wait for some time see now i have imported the pdf that is the ppt converted to pdf now you observe the screen carefully this has your uploaded powerpoint presentation which is converted into pdf this is from the left side the number of the slides it's showing then your first slide is displayed in the middle in the right side you have one white box this is a white board nothing but a white board if you are well versed with the white board or the paint you can make use of this to describe or to explain the topic to the students you can make use of this also so here you carefully look at these three buttons this is a record button this is a play button or pause button this is a stop now it is not i am not recording right now so you can see so in that situation the play button that icon pause means it is in a uh, it was a triangle then a stop is there then the record is not yet selected so once it is done when you have your when you have imported your powerpoint presentation or that is the pdf now go to the record button you click on the record see now it is selected you can see the a blue color box see when you start recording it now you click on the record button once you click on the record button you will get a display like this in the left side that is it is to select the sharing the screen as well as the mic just go here select now you select the last one entire screen then you click on the allow button so now you can see the screen like this see now it is whatever i am saying it is recording how to confirm that i am recording see here you can see the record button is surrounded by a rectangle dots here the play pause button if the two vertical lines are there then it means that it is a playing that means it is a recording so now see you can see the powerpoint presentation slide now this is the first slide you can explain on the first slide then if you want to go to the next slide here you have an arrow next slide i am clicking on the next slide you explain this the second slide then click on the third one you explain now whatever i am saying it is a recording so suppose if you have some work you want to go somewhere just you can 
click on the pause button see now you can see this right side turned a triangle now it is stopped now you have come back you want to resume the recording again you click so once you click it's recording see it is surrounded by a rectangle dots then you can see the two vertical lines means that it is playing whatever we are saying it is recording so finish off all the slides slide by slide you try to finish off your presentation within 30 to 40 minutes so otherwise the size of the file size will be a huge then once you explain your slides go here then stop it now the entire recording process is stopped now go to the preview button so we'll see how it is recorded now i'm previewing it see so you will get a display like this now you just play you just play how the recording has been done so now you can see that see this is what like i was this. explaining you can hear see now it is whatever i'm saying it is recording how to confirm that i'm recording See here, you can see this the is not I'm speak, is speaking, it is the already recorded box. one. Here, the play pause button. If the two vertical lines are there, then it means that it is a playing. That means it is a recording. You got it. See, this is what. So now, if you are okay with your presentation, then here you can see right side corner, you can see the save button. See, save. You save the file. Please enter, you will get like this, video name, okay. So here you have to name the video. For example, you, I have taken a class on Corona. I will save it as Corona, Corona UG, okay. Now you save. So you can save the flag. You are here you are saving the file on your computer okay so now it is saved on your computer now you can upload the video also you have saved a copy to your computer and the one presentation that you have recorded now i am uploading it the upload button was there by the side of the save button so you can see it's uploading See, this is the advantage. The uploading will be fast if you are importing the PDF format. Once it is uploaded, you will get like this video uploaded successfully. Yes, you can finish up this. So once the video is uploaded, you go back to the menu. Just click on back menu, back to menu. So you will get, you are coming to the screen, main page. Here you click on the lecture file. So now you can see the videos that have that you have uploaded see i have uploaded many things this is the one recently added two minutes ago this is the one that i have uploaded if you want to edit the title name you can edit or otherwise you can leave as such so once you do this just you inform the admin respective department